Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go ahead and transform this head of mine because it's been forever since I've done anything to my natural hair. And obviously, you know, it's cute. It's cute. We, we have like a natural level two, probably level one to be real. Um... And uh, we're going to do something way different. We're going to go ahead and brighten this thing up a little bit. Bring some sun up into my life and uh, somebody's sun. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, have some fun today. I've been postponing this for the last like three days because I haven't decided like what kind of layout I want, how I want this to look, how I want this to turn out. And to be real, I'm actually a little bit fucking nervous because like I said, it's been a it's been a minute, okay, since I've done anything to my hair. Uh, I think the last time I actually dyed my hair, it had to have been 2017 graduating. It had to be it had to have been 2017 um, was the last time I ever did anything to my hair. So I don't know if I'm about to insert a pic. I might. If, if I do, here it is. But um, yeah, so that's the last time I've ever done anything to my hair. And to be real, I fried it completely. I fried it completely, but did I learn my lesson? Probably not, because we went ahead and picked up the dark and lovely fade resistant hair dye, and what I have is the 396 Luminous Blonde. So we're about to be, we're not gonna be adding all blonde, trust me. Um, we're gonna be adding some blonde highlights, but um, I wanted it to be pretty light. Oh, fingers crossed, pause this video. Comment some little sparkles. Comment some little sparkles down in the comment section. <laughs> Hopefully you're sending me good vibes. I'm gonna I'm gonna think that you are sending me good vibes for how this is gonna turn out. So um yeah, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna section my hair out and uh we're gonna get started. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this voiceover in one take. We're heading right over to Jamba because your girl cannot function without her razzmatazz. So, so if you've ever been to Jamba, you already know this is the best drink there. <laughs> and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and go to the store. I took way too many napkins for having one drink. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I went ahead and headed over to Walmart and I wanted to find what dye was gonna work best for what I was trying to do and they had about three different options for blonde and I ended up going with the lightest one because my hair was the darkest so I wanted a little bit more lift I didn't want to go ahead and do a whole bleaching process on my hair and just look how cute I am those buns the curls and uh, why am I already kind of regretting doing this hair? I, I, I don't know. It was way too long since I've ever done anything to it. it I mean, like I told y'all, it was like 2017. So these were the final picks that I went ahead and grabbed from the store. And those are what we're going to be using in today's video. Now, I started off first by parting my hair from ear to ear. Um, I feel like this was going to be the smartest way for me to apply the color so that's what I went ahead and did. I braided my hair down on certain sides and then I went ahead and parted the back as well. So this is kind of what it looks like. These are the sections that are going to be blonde and then the one that's in the clip and all that stuff. That's going to be brown. So here I am applying the brown hair dye and let me just say it smelled so strong. It hit me out of nowhere. fucking die yeah way out of nowhere nah 
So make sure you have good ventilation wherever you're going to be doing this because it was bad. You saw that face. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply some more of the dye to this part. Um, if Going back looking at this, I feel like maybe I should have just inversed it. I don't know. This is my process. Um, I didn't apply it to the roots. I waited 15 minutes um, and then I went ahead and went back and applied it to the roots because, I mean, if y'all don't know, the roots develop so much faster. <laughs> so do not apply the dye all over to your hair. Please wait and then apply it to the roots. Um, and then for some reason, I'm just looking like I'm rocking the latest futuristic pilgrim 2021 collection i don't know what i was doing <laughs> but um this is kind of what the color was looking like i got a little bit of dye on some of the other parts but you can see it actually lifted pretty well um this is still while it was going and then this is when it was rinsed so i honestly wish i should have just like applied it everywhere to be real but anyway we're going in with the bleach or not the bleach the blonde dark and lovely and we waited a couple minutes and then we went ahead and applied it to the roots like i said it's the same old processes and uh yeah that's pretty much what we did <laughs> um and then i just started looking like the ramen noodle like person right now i don't even know what i was doing but yeah it was not a look it was so orange um so it definitely needed to be toned so that's what i went ahead and did i applied the color wella t18 lightest ash blonde toner onto my hair and uh for this part my dumbass did not have gloves so i ended up getting a really bad chemical burn on my hand and i'm not even playing y'all it was hurting for like hours so <laughs> please do not do what i did use gloves please use gloves um but this was the second day and i went ahead and toned my hair twice actually because it still was pretty brassy so this is kind of what it's looking like the curls were still popping and i went ahead and blew it out flat ironed it and i applied the moroccan oil to it as well and it just came out so sleek. I was just like, girl, who is she? Like, time out. Who the fuck was the girl in the beginning? And then look at this girl right now. I'm just like, who is she? I don't recognize her at all. <laughs> so yeah, overall, that's what this look turned out like. The process was not that fun. I don't like doing hair. So, <laughs> but the results were bomb. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I'm obsessed with the brown. I'm not a full dark haired girl anymore. This style, the style behind the ears, like, I don't know. I think it's very cute because I wanted to do a split dye originally. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to have all of that blonde on one side of my head, especially if it was like, a blonde that I wasn't expecting and obviously I wanted something a little lighter than what this looks like but um yeah certain spots you can see on my roots they did get a little lighter and it was more so I, I guess I'm glad it didn't get as light as where it looks on my roots because then it would be probably matching my skin tone a little bit too much but um yeah overall I would say I just gave myself a makeover like I don't even know who this bitch is right now and uh, my birthday is coming up next month so I don't know I kind of want to just switch up my style I feel like it's been far too long of me not wanting to like actually switch up my hair and especially my natural hair I, but yes i'm actually very satisfied for how this whole thing turned out